Welcome back to more Phoenix Point. In the last episode, we defended our base, even though three of our people spawned in the access lift and we couldn't have them join our fight. So this is a bit weird, is you can build in in um, only adjoined places, but when you remove a building, you can remove a building, even though if it leaves another uh, building disjointed from the rest of the base. That is weird, so because... It means that if people spawn in here, they can't get to the rest of the base. So I hope they're either going to change that you can't destroy parts of your base that are connected and leave something disconnected, or they're going to create some little default, default tunnels that you can actually walk through to join the rest of your base so you can defend. Because these three people had to evacuate. That was it. There was nothing I could do with them. Um, yeah, it was my own fault that I removed a building, but I didn't think that would cause a problem, which it does. So now I know better. So because I think our other bases don't have that problem. They're all connected to something. And uh, as you can see here, because you can't build here if you haven't built something beside it. But if I remove, if I build here and then build something here and then remove this, we end up with a building again or with a room that isn't connected to anything else. Anyway, so one of the things that came up in the comments is I thought I can ignore the nests so that I trigger bigger structures. So the nests merge or something into bigger structures. I taught from what I read on the forums um, or on Reddit as well. And um, somebody else said then, oh, you're going to die if you don't fight the nests because if the structures appear, they're going to have way stronger enemies and you can't fight them. Your weapons are not good enough for that. So we need better weapons. We need to defeat the nests as long as we can and get better weapons. One way of getting better things is to raid factions. Um, you can raid them for their research, for example, and then you can research it or you can manufacture the weapons they have from their research which would be very good. But also another thing that I can do is I can get myself an airship from another faction. So what we can do is, and that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to save the game in case everything goes wrong. And this is not an Iron Man playthrough, but I definitely want to try out some things. And I just don't know what's going to happen. So we're going to do a backup save just in case. So we're going to attack the Anu and we're going to steal their ship. Their ship is not the fastest, it's actually the slowest ship out of them all, from all the factions, but it can hold eight, eight soldiers. So that can be our new ship, and then the other one we currently have is then able to be used as a secondary ship for a second crew, and then we can start building up a third crew in our base as a defense. Now, that also means we need weapons, we need armor, we need new gear, we need things to research and to craft, and for that means if we capture the ship, we can cancel the manufacturing of this ship, gives us a lot of resources to actually build uh, some gear, but that also means then there will be a shift in alignments, which hopefully allows us then to raid one of the other factions and be able to absorb the penalty. I don't know what the penalty is, but you get a penalty for attacking a faction, and as, as far as I understand it, as long as it's not bigger than negative 10 or something, you can easily build it back up, something like that. Anyway, a lot of waffle, but that's just what it is. Um, so we are going to make sure everybody's okay, and then we're going to pick, preferably, somewhere affection in this area, because this is where we want to continue the game. We're going to have to go to the bulwark at some point, maybe not in this episode, but to get there, we need to come through this little area. So we're going to try to find a ship that we can take close to this area. So I'm going to have a look around. I see what I can find. And um, yeah, we're going to have to destroy the nest as well. We can't leave them around. That's something you guys mentioned. So we're going to have to find them. And then we're going to see what happens with the diplomacy and with the relationships. I can't wait. This is going to be amazing. And again, if everything goes tits up, we're just going to reload the safe. So first we're going to be picking up fish bed that we left in the other base. Research complete. Oh, the Pandora virus. Until now, we believe the Pandora virus to be a nucleo a nucleo cytoplasmic large DNA virus that rapidly mutates any living organism in an unusual directed way, incorporating DNA from multiple species to create the horrors we have witnessed. The suggestion that the Pandora virus could be extraterrestrial was widely debated, but scientists in the 2020s, due to its enormous genome size and the dissimilarities of many of its genes to those of any other life forms on Earth, Many suspected that its intelligent seemingly behavior could not be fully explained by the usual evolutionary models. Our analysis incorporating new data from the cryogenic facility, the Chinese sinkhole in the Siberian lab confirms three facts with worrying implications. One, the Pandora virus existed on Earth long before the current outbreak. It still doesn't mean it's not extraterrestrial. The Pandora virus is non-terrestrial in origin. Okay. 
Three, the Pandora virus is the product of design, not evolution. So, is it something that was designed here and just went bananas? Or is it something that was designed to attack Earth? I don't know. I mean, could be. We'll see. I suppose, hopefully, it will all be revealed at the end of the story. So, but, oh, oh. There had always been rumors that maybe the Pandora virus wasn't from Earth. That some alien disease had come down from the stars like a plague from heaven. But now that we finally had the evidence we needed, we realized the truth was more terrible than that. The Pandora virus was alien, so yes. It is alien. But it wasn't a disease. It was a bioweapon. We were not alone. And whatever was out there, wanted us dead. None of this had deterred Randolph Symes. He continued his quest, hoping that whatever his great-grandfather had buried in Oglethorpe University's time vault held the answers he needed. We would have to hope that he was right. That is pretty amazing. So it is a weapon. It was an intentional attack. We need to investigate Oglethorpe University's time world where Randolph Symes Sr. buried a collection of files that might shed light in the history of the Pandora virus. The coordinates, coordinates have been uploaded to our system. Okay. Our research regarding the nature of the Pandora virus has caused a great deal of controversy within the factions. Tobias West sees our research as conf confirmation of what New Jericho has always preached. The Pandorans are invaders. A military solution is the only way forward, and anyone who disagrees is helping the enemy. In Synedrian, internal debates rage. What are the socio-political rights of creatures created by a bioweapon? Should we even be trying to coexist? So, yeah, you have the debate, because I think the creatures are Earth creatures that have merged with the virus. So... You don't kill people that get sick, but at the same time, you know, this is different type of story. As for the disciples of Anu, there is no official statement from the Exalted or the Synod of Yearning, but rumors suggest they're neither surprised nor worried. New Jericho's attitude to Sinedrians minus three, New Jericho's attitude to disciples of Anu minus three. Okay, we got some heavy debates going on between the factions. Okay, do we have any styling change? No, for, for, we need to get friendly. So if we attack the Anu, and then we're gonna raid the Sinedrians. If that all goes well today, we should get good reputation with the Je with Jericho and a little bit of a loss between these factions, but we'll see. I mean, any one we attack, the other two go up. So as long as we get more back than we lose, it should be okay, I think. I think you can balance it. I don't know, we'll see. So let's get fish bed here. There we go. And base info. Oh no, personnel. And oh, Martin actually leveled up. Very good. He's at base. What is he now? Okay, he leveled up to level three. He can learn now induce panic. Very good. Yeah, we're not gonna spend much points on him just yet because um, we're gonna do that next time we actually put him in. Let's put fish bed into the Manticore. Excellent. And let's send the Manticore to one of those bases. Let's. That's the closest one I could find that actually has a ship. So. If we look at this area here, I don't see any ships of for the Anu. No. So that means... Yeah, that we're gonna have to attack one of these. Um, also, just one thing before I forget. You see these ones with the stars. The ones with the stars means they're elites, yeah? But some of those elites are not special units. I thought all the elites were special units. Actually, some of those elites, I don't know which one, like I saw a few of them which were just normal heavies or um, they weren't special units as far as I saw. So I'm not really sure what it means they're elite. Does it mean they have um, higher stats or something? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, I, if I can find one, I'm going to show you this later. There's another one here. And yeah, that's a special class as well. It's a technician, I believe. And then, of course, you have um, the priest as well. And then the berserker. So that's the only three that I know of. There could be more, though. Anyway, so, oh, look at that. We actually have a scavenger site. We haven't finished yet, so we're going to have to do that as well at some point. So let's go and get ourselves an airship. Okay, so in that haven, we can do a few things. We can steal the aircraft. We can raid food production. So if we click on that, we can see here we get minus 20. 
Plus 12 was the other one, and plus 5 was the Sinedrians. Eliminate enemy forces, we raid for food. If we go to raid the factory, we raid for materials. Hence, when you raid for research, there's a research center here. So let's just move over here real quick. Oh. Our operatives have been asked to participate in the Rite of Trust, performed today at Masuari. This ritual involves stories and riddles that seek to recontextualize the faith of the disciples and the exalted to teach the scene that we're about to attack the Anu. If that is from the Anu, we should probably participate. And um, participate. Because that gives us more um, reputation with them that we're gonna lose now. <laughs> the ritual begins with a short reading from the gospel. Okay, this seeks into a good okay, fair enough. Good. So now if we go in here and we're gonna select raid research center. We can either steal research or raid tech. I'm not sure. Raid tech seems to be just that. So, okay, re materials is that from the factories. Food is from the farms. And then tech is actual physical tech. Okay, so in this case, you would go for research, I suppose, because it will give you, like, the actual research. But we're not going to do that. We're here to steal an aircraft. Capture the aircraft. We're going to lose minus 20 reputation. Gain 12 with Jericho and gain 5 with the Sinedrians, which is very good, I suppose. Let's do it. And here we are invading an Anu city. So this is the airship here, I think. So we have to get at least two people in there, is it? I think so. Or is there more slots? No, it seems that we have to get two people there. So getting to the airship is good. I'm also trying to open as many boxes as possible that I can find and steal any of the weapons that I can find. And hopefully, because there's still a debate where it says, well, if you open the crates, everything, you will get everything, yeah? And I know that the end screen only shows up to six items, I think, and that you can get more. But I I think I remember picking up certain weapons that I have not received in either my inventory or in storage. So we got to keep an eye out on it. Okay, so let's, um, let's get started. Let's, of course, start with Yar. Um, Yar now has... Disabling a body part when uh, all armor is removed, which is amazing. Also, weapon accuracy beautifully increased. And shoot back at the enemy. So return fire with the sniper rifle is just absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down. Actually, we're going to head on this roof, I would say. Okay, can we use dash again? Yes, we can. Is that actually going to be something where we have some... Okay, here we have half armor. Uh, armor um, cover. Crunch time. Now, also, you have to be careful. When you use half cover, this can really bite you in the ass. So half cover with um, Yar should be okay. Half cover with fish bed could be problematic because apparently the way the weapons are held do make a difference. So with Yar, for example, if we aim at something... Um, if we just go into free mode here, we can see we're doing absolutely fine. But with Fishbed, for example, he holds his railgun but down below by the hip. And I think low cover like that actually can be a problem. Because they don't step out to the side on half cover. They just use the half cover and shoot over it. But if they stand up and have the railgun on the bottom, I think uh, that actually can impede um, Fishbed. Okay, let's go to this corner. Okay, I can't really see anybody at all yet. Which means I'm not going to go overwatch yet. Because I'm going to see if we can find something. So, let's go with our sniper. We obviously have to go towards the ship. But the Anu could come from either direction. So, I would say let's head through these buildings here. Or we actually could come from here. I think that I might actually prefer that. Okay. We got to keep going. Got to keep going. Sounds like Arnie. Okay, we've spotted someone. There we go. We spotted a berserker. Brilliant. So now what I'm going to do with my sniper dude is I will just literally go to the bench. I think right here. I will go right here. I'm going. And for this turn, I will be going very narrow. Now, we do have things in our way here, but we should be able to shoot over our cover. And if he moves, hopefully we can get a clear shot at him, especially with the sniper rifle. 
So let's go a little bit out. Actually, you know what? Just in case something comes out of this building um, from either side, I want to get left and right of the building. I want to get a good shot at things. So we're going to take a wide cover. I mean, it's a sniper rifle. Which also means that I should be Close able to go in cover right here on him. Yeah, we have this big thing in the way, but hopefully we can shoot around it if it comes to it. But it might block us. Okay, um, let's get a dash. If we can, hide behind one of those. Let's get a dash in again. I don't want to go too far because somebody could be coming from this side. So I think what I'm going to do instead is stay in this cover here. Let me just see. Okay, I'm going to go here. Moving to coordinates. Okay. And now I'm going to go with... I'm gonna go this here. I'm gonna cover this area behind me. Then we're gonna bring up fish bed, probably just all the way. Making haste. And then we have Jamie and Geo or Geo. Geo's actually doing pretty well. Geo is having a shotgun now and an assault rifle, and um. The shotgun I found better than Mela because Mela, I don't think I'm there yet where I can really smash faces in with my Mela, but I will go back to the Mela, absolutely. I'm going to use my dash as well. Cross when we time. kill people, we get uh, will power back, so uh, will points back, so I'm not too concerned about will points. But I do want to make sure that we have um, a decent advance. Okay, let's go right here. I'm on the move. So, we have this covered, so I would say nothing should be coming from here. So, let's, mm, let's cover it anyway, just in case. Attempting overwatch. And now we're going to go with Jamie. With Jamie, I'm just going to go full on out and bring Jamie all the way forward. So, again, the missions get more and more, comp not complex, but they will take longer because there will be more and more enemies. There, there, there could be more steps involved in a mission or we need to um, be more careful how we advance. So we might only do this mission during this episode, but we'll see. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer um, uh, skipping certain missions or, you know, if you're okay. I mean, we don't have really have a choice, but... I'm not sure what can come from here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take cover here. Oh, we have a new enemy. Okay, so they are coming from there. What is this? Oh, tissue regeneration. Wow! The mutative armor is giving them, like, regeneration. Oh, look at that handgun. I would love that handgun. Now, these guys also have grenades, so we have to be careful. Yeah, I'm gonna go Let's right go. here, and then I'm gonna head on to Overwatch. Um, only up to here, because I, if they come any closer, I might miss. So we do that. Um, before we switch, let me go back to Yara and change the weapon that she's on Overwatch with. Oh, I can't. Okay. I was going to go with the sniper rifle, because that's a much better Overwatch weapon, but... And turn. So let's see what we have here. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at it go! If that would have been the sniper rifle, that would have been so much better. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that, baby. That is sweet as. It's a pity, like, the Overwatch doesn't... Oh, trigger a second time? Oh, okay. We'll just destroy half the buildings. <laughs> awesome. Okay, they are coming from top there. Okay, so we did well. We did well. We positioned well. I think we positioned well. Ooh. Enemy spotted. Not good. He's assault. Whoa! He looks amazing! Let me check this guy out. Ho! Oh, dude, what are you? You look amazing. 
You look like a frog, man. Tentacle torso, tentacle attack. Wow. That is pretty... Wow. Okay, let's get some distance here. Okay. Whew. Now, these guys are just too perfectly located. So, where's fish bed? Fish bed. I'm sorry. We're just gonna have to abuse you. Oh, they're just too far away to capture both. Oh, are you kidding me? I thought we could get at least... Oh, there we go. That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. Ah! Equipment damaged, uh, Skion Shoro, and equipment damage. Okay, very good. Now, these guys ca do can... Um, Let's come forward. Let's come forward actually up to here. Okay. What what do we have here? Let me see. It's the big guys I'm mostly worried about because the big guys have grenades as far as I know. Let me just double check. No, uh, no grenades. Interesting. Okay, no grenades. Did you have grenades? Hmm, I can't see grenades. Anyway. Let's... Taking aim. Ah! Okay, five will points and bleed. And we're gonna go with Overwatch on... On this. Now, we're gonna have to get out of the way, of course, with... Jamie. So we're going to head up here. Hmm. What is that? Reloading inventory actions do not cost any action points. I love it. Right there. Ready to engage. Okay, they're dead. They're bleeding out, I think. Let me see. Oh, 18 and 10. Are you kidding me? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna head out of the way. This is actually good here in this building. If we get up there, it gives us back some willpower for the whole team, I believe. Which is really good. I'm gonna head down here. Actually, I'm going to shoot first. And we're going to go for the arm, is it? The legs? The legs. Let's go for the legs. Ooh, we could miss a lot. What about the shotgun? <sighs> okay, okay. I don't like those tentacles, dude. I do not like them. Disabled the arm. Okay, that's not bad. Let's fire again. Ah! Disabled torso and disabled arms. Nice. 30 bleed. That is beautiful. 30 bleed. This guy is dead as a dodo. Oh no, 64 points. Holy balls. Why are you guys so amazing? Okay, what do we have here? Um... Oh, look at that. She actually gets up. Wow, that's impressive. Who are you aiming at, though? Oh, all the way the person there. <sighs> okay, let's do it. And dead. We got them! Okay, I would say... Kill it. If we can't kill it, kill it. Very nice, yeah. Well fought. Now, I'm gonna head over here. I 
I want to deal with this guy somehow. This one I'm gonna let come to us. So I'm gonna head over here. It's hard to shoot like this. I know it is, but better than nothing. Okay, that went right through the defense. And yeah, we're happy here. Now he healed his arm. Ah, oh, and he healed, so he could throw a grenade if he has one. Okay, that berserker is coming down, which is okay. Oh yes, 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 yes. Nice, beautiful. Okay, he missed. Return fire? Yes! Oh, beautiful. He has some serious armor. Okay, he ended his turn, but he's dead now. We're gonna get him. There's a dude over here somewhere. Is he coming down? Oh, what do we have here? Another... Okay. We have another assault. <laughs> Two assault. He's on Overwatch. He's just ending his turn. I think that's it. Is that it? I think so. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! No, no, no! That was intense! Ooh, Berserker intense! Okay, hang on a second here. Um, Okay. Um, Geo, you're gonna have to come here and do some shotgun action. Oh, I <laughs> Enemy down. Okay, you can stay here. Oh, wow. Okay, so Michael is out of commission. Holy balls. Okay. That is intense. Yeah, Michael is done for. Might as well take the ammunition. Okay. I'm gonna come down now. <sighs> okay, here we go. Um confirming target. Okay. And now fish bed. Now. Let me see. Here goes. Dragon tooth um, damaged. Very good. I like it. I'm going to bring you all the way to the front. And now we have Jamie. We're just gonna have to take care of this guy. Um, no! Is 
Disable torso and 10 bleed. Let's do it again. Okay, that bleed should surely is gonna kill him now. Yeah, he's dead. He's panicking. He's panicking. Very good. I like it. So panic, panic, panic. My faith hasn't wavered. My faith hasn't wavered. I My like faith it. Hasn't wavered. They got uh, they got will points back. That's actually pretty intense. Okay, we got another melee guy. They have a serious amount of action points. Well, not action points, um, speed, like reach. <sighs> okay. And what is our friend from over here doing? What's our assault guy doing over here? Also want to see if there's any weapons we can pick up. Okay, that's the assault class. Okay, excellent. Now, yeah, we can't take any more shots here. That's all right. Probably should evacuate uh, Michael. I think. We'll see. I'm ready. Let's go for the legs. I fight for my face. Shoddy, that's not good. <sighs> okay, okay. That's not good. Um, we got seriously hurt there. So. What's our plan? Taking action. Okay, um, stand right here. Ready to fire. <gasps> Disabled the head and bleeding. Nice. Very good. I like it. Actually, what we can do with him then is take all the get all the willpowers and get all the boxes and all that. I think we can do that. What's in the box? Got five will points. Very good. And oh, look at that. We got a hammer. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I'm not in full cover, so I'm not getting the full. Okay, let's do it. He's Hostile dead. neutralized. Okay. Very good. Okay, Geo, you have two more shots left. Um, I think what you should be doing instead is heal. Just in case you get attacked again. And Jamie, what do you have? I think you should be going on to Overwatch. And we're going to make a very wide Overwatch because I want Jamie to be able to, to shoot at the assault on the left, possibly, or at the Berserker on the right. Actually, I'm just going to go on the Berserker on the right. Yeah. Holding position. Because I don't actually want to waste my ammo on the assault because the Berserker is more dangerous, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, what a waste. Yeah. <gasps> 
Oh, only 60 damage. That's because he's... Oh, yeah. Bam! Yes! It's like, don't bring a knife to gunfight. Something like that, is it? Yeah, let's go up here. Excellent. Let's do that. That will give us back... I think that will give everybody some willpower. I'm not sure. I think so. Which would be good. Yes, it does. Beautiful. Okay. Now, that is good. Because it means we can... I want to get up to this guy. So what we're going to do? We're going to head up here with... Um, Jamie. Let's go. The Overwatch is pointing that way, so he shouldn't have Overwatch on us. Ready to engage. Okay, I think the problem is that the guy on the roof is going to cause us problems, so I'm going to do something like that. <laughs> 42 damage, nice. And just to make sure we can finish him off. Oh no! Oh, proficiency, of course! We're not proficient in that, is it? Ah, I fall for it every single time. Every time I fall for it. And I'm wasting my proficiency on it, which is not good. Moving I'm gonna now. put him in the open. Okay, so let's see what we have on the ground here. Oh, only ammunition, okay. We have to get up here, which I'm gonna do now. Yeah, let's do this. I know he will trigger his out of fire or his overwatch. Oh, he didn't trigger it. Okay. Excellent. Beautiful. And... We can... We can stay hidden there if we want to. Is that full cover here? No, it's only half cover as well. Okay, let's stay there. Because we can't go behind anything really. Oh, there, we can go behind there. What was that? Hang on a second here. Yes, okay. That's full cover. Beautiful. Okay, um... We can't see anything with him. We could, however, come out here. I'm on my way. Hmm. That's, That's a kill. Okay, now I have a feeling that we can start moving up. I've got to be quick. I want to know what this is, and we have to get this as well. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, yeah, they're all dead. Um, let's head over here and see what we have here. Okay, just some ammunition. It's fine. And let's go here. We're gonna bring Michael along. I mean, why not? He has health. And he can be spotting things, which would be good. And um, we don't need that. Is there any materials here? Is there anything dropped here? No. Okay, Geo. Come over here. 
Why are you doing that? Okay, whatever. <laughs> he could have just walked around, but... Okay. Just some ammunition. Don't really need to take it. But... I think reload costs one. So let's go here. And do a reload. Let's bring our sniper all the way out. Ahead. I think it's only just a matter now of walking towards the center of the room, I hope. Just in case we have any surprises in there. We don't want Yara to get into any trouble here all of a sudden. So let's um, head here. Wow. Okay. Another hammer? That's really good. Weight is two. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. And fish bed, we're going to bring out over here as well. I mean, if we can bring fish bed in, that would be great. Moving fast. Yeah, nobody coming. There is nobody coming. Ready for action. Okay, let's head over here. Okay. And let's head up here. Repositioning. Oh, wow. She can actually come up here. Oh, we're going to put her right here. Oh, we put Michael right here as a spotter. Her, sorry. Michael. Very good. I like it. You stay there. And then our sniper, we're going to bring right up here. Oh, we can't bring our sniper up. That's okay. So we're going to bring our sniper here. Double time. Yar can st uh, fish bed would be good to come up here somewhere. Making haste. Just so we have enough area to cover, you know, and shoot at things with the minigun or with the grenade launcher if we need to. And let's bring Geo up here as well to be right beside. Yeah, and I think that's it. So we have everybody with us now. Let's activate the airship and see if that is the end of the mission. Can I get in? Let's do it. Oh, what is this? All right, and now we have to survive five rounds to protect the airship. Okay, let's end it. Four rounds. Okay. If nobody's there. Well, it seems like nobody is here. So what you can actually do is you can capture all that first and then just basically hold out. Yeah, that's it. Very good. So if we kill them all first, it's, it's easier, I think. Yeah, Michael is seriously hurt, but... Let's see what the fallout is. 800 experience. Very, very nice. I love it. Let's see how annoyed the Anu are. Oh, we got some armor, actually, and a new assault leggings. Nice. That is awesome. So you see the way? One, two, three, four, five, six. We had two med kits that we found in the boxes, but I only got one. So that's what I mean. I And we got the two hammers, though, which is good. So I think sometimes this is a bit random, yeah, that what you get, because there was definitely two med kits. Unless it applied one, it, it equipped one to our guy before the screen showed or something because we used one. I don't know. I have no idea. So now what that means is Jericho is now friendlier with us. The Anu are still friendly with us. And of course, the Sinitrians are supportive because they're just like, yay. 
Now, what can we do here? Reverse engineer the legs. Oh, we need two of them to be able to reverse engineer them. Okay. So, we just have the siren autopsy in the meantime. Very good. But, we now have a new aircraft. The a Tiamat. A Tiamat 2. Which means we should be able to transfer all our personnel onto the Tiamat. Which means any new soldiers we hire can get on that ship. There we go. And don't worry about that. We're going to sort that out. But it means we can send the Tiamat to our base. Let me see. Is it Phoenix Delta where we have healing? I think it's Phoenix Delta. Medical Bay and Living Quarters. Yes. And a training facility. So we can move here with the Tiamat. It's, it's very slow. And then we can send the Manticore back, back to our base, where we can put the rest of the team on. According to rumor, a man in Sinidrian have killed several people while hallucinating. Oh, okay, he's been pulled into a tomb by a ghoulish creature that had been haunting his dreams for several weeks. There's a similar rumor about a woman in New Jericho having killed a family. It's not clear whether these two are similar incidents or whether both rumors are based on the same event. What's certain is that reports of visual and auditory hallucinations are increasing. Indeed they are. We have the time vault right here, which we actually can reach and we could do a mission about. But I think... Oh, there we go. There it is. A citadel. I don't know if we're strong enough for a citadel, guys, but we should certainly give it a shot. But right now, this manticore has to go home to base, where we have all our other soldiers. There we go. Let's check out our other ship. We have to heal up all our soldiers. And this one also has a wider circle, which is really, really good. So, let's heal up. A Cynedrian Haven is under attack. We're going to defend them now in a minute. Oh, wow. They're under heavy attack. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything about that. But we definitely will try to attack the Citadel in another episode. I think for now, we're just going to go through that. I don't think we can defend them. 27 is insane. The siren is named after its bone-chilling screech, which, uh, which has psychic as well as sonic components. It incorporates human and myriad powder genetic information, resulting in a particularly gruesome monster. However, its mind control abilities are its most terrifying characteristics. In order to understand more about its mechanisms, it is imperative that we capture and study a live specimen. This could be the key. Okay, is it genetic makeup, um, function, leadership, abduction, close combat, defense, mutation, multi multipedal variant is armored very limited range ability okay acid ejection okay that's terrible now we can cancel this because we have two ships now and we can always build it again so I'm gonna cancel it for the resources and we're going to have a look and see if we need to buy or craft anything else because I think what we should do is try to defend this and um, if we can and um, get some brownie points before we raid them. I don't think we're going to make it, guys. The ship is very slow. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So let's see where the other haven is. Um... Wow, attack force 27, and we only have three soldiers here. And the three soldiers we have, they're personal at base. <laughs> so, Phoenix Point, Phoenix Point, there's two personnel basically, and well, we have the car, so theoretically, with the car, we could be able to do it, but we only have two soldiers. That is way too little to defend anybody, especially Martin is only level three, and he's only new. So that's terrible. Um, actually, one of the things we should do in our main base before I forget it is build another training center. And then here we can build also another training center. What is actually a facility, a fabrication plant? It's three energy. No, let's make another training center. And then we can hear another training center. End of story. There we go. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get there in time either. 
because we're like half around the planet. And we're not gonna get where we have to get in time on the other one. Oh my balls. They are under attack everywhere now. <sighs> okay, one of them we're gonna have to reach. Okay, so I think this one we're not gonna get to. They're dead. They have like zero. So let's try to get to this one. Nope, destroyed. Destroyed. Boom, boom. They're gone. Can't get to them. The remains of New Jericho squad have been found in the wilderness. It would appear one of the just killed the others. Wow, okay, we're in serious uh, trouble, I think. In serious trouble. All these havens are slowly getting destroyed, so I think the next thing we're going to have to do to show goodwill is to move in for an attack. There we go. We're coming in hot. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode, guys. We're going to leave this episode here. It's going to get tough. And yeah, you're probably right. We're not going to finish this game, uh, most likely. And we're probably going to get killed off beforehand. But I think it was a good attempt either way. And um, it definitely was interesting. If we die all and we just can't fight off the evasion, then we're just going to do a different strategy next time. You let me know if you want to see more of this. Otherwise, we're just going to leave this here. If we're going to get eradicated, we finish the Let's Play series here. And then we're just going to uh, continue playing it on stream. And that's it. So anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.